Hi everyone, I had a minute and I wanted to do a quick Facebook Live video for you about texting. So texting is sort of like the new thing where it keeps people from really having to interact and they sit and they text. And some men and some women think that when they text this way that they're actually starting a relationship. And you don't want a texting relationship. You want to get someone to that phone and to meeting them. You also, when you're in, when you're, you know, like third, fourth, fifth date, starting to think about having a relationship with a person, again, you want to get them off of that texting. So what do you say to them? What you can say is something like, I feel like texting, um, Rather, instead of I feel like texting, I would say, I feel like it would be better if we could just quickly touch base on the phone so we can connect. Because hearing a voice makes a huge difference versus seeing it in a text. And a text and an email are so open to misinterpretation, and that's not what you want. And let's talk about one other thing here. When you are in the middle of texting or emailing with a man online, so how do you get them to that phone call? Well, first of all, make sure when you're texting or emailing them online that you're not having full conversations. I remember a man would write to me back in the day before I knew better and say things like, I'm, um, you know, I'm having this kind of day and, and he would call me babe and he would say, I thought about you. Now he knew nothing about me except for what was in his head about who he thought I was. So you don't want to do a lot of texts and you don't want to do a lot of emails. You want to make them short and sweet and you want to make them flirty. And don't, if he says, how's your day? Say, oh my God, it would be so wonderful to put a voice to these emails or texts. Would that be okay? And make sure if you're in the United States, you get a Google voice number. It needs to be connected to a Gmail account, but those are all free and it's easy to do. Then when you're on with the phone, I don't want you spending more than two phone calls, I would say, together. Because if you get beyond that, you're getting into scammer territory. And you're also, again, building a false relationship that may not hold up when you meet. I remember going, if you read my book, The Winning Dating Formula for Women Over 50, it's on Amazon. I remember we had this amazing relationship on the phone. We spent hours emailing and texting each other. And when we actually met, it did not pan out. So this is why you don't want to be on the phone too much. And with a scammer, by the way, two times. And if he doesn't offer to meet you, say when you're close to here, you know, when you're back in the town in town or in the city, that's when we'll meet. That's really an important sign that you have a scammer if they keep you on that phone because they're connecting to you. And if they're connecting to you, you're connecting, you're bonding, and it doesn't mean that there's someone you want to be connected to. All right, so you're on the phone, and you like the guy. So you encourage him, and you say, hey, I want to, um, I think it would be so wonderful to put a face to this voice. What do you think? Always ask that question, what do you think? And then you can meet them. And when you go to meet them, meet them in a public place and make sure someone knows where you are and who you're with and a phone number. That's real important. You need to still practice important safety issues like that so you stay safe. So that's it about texting and how to get do this process. But really don't let a man text you. And if it's annoying you, again, all you want to say is, um, you know, can we, it would be nice to put a voice to these texts because you can't build a real relationship based on texts and emails. All right. I hope you like this. Just this little impromptu thing. And if you want to leave comments below, I'll answer them for you when I come back in and look. Okay. Bye everyone.